let's continue with ebulloscopic constant since we have completed discussing Rolle's law on the elevation of boiling point. You know, according to Rolle's law on elevation of boiling point, delta T B, that's the amount by which the boiling point rises, is uh, directly proportional to the molality of the solution, which means when the molality is high, there will be more rise in the boiling point. For example, if you add a little bit of impurity to water, the concentration of the solution naturally will be less, molality will be less, and the rise in the boiling point will be also less. The boiling point may just rise to 101 from 100. But as you increase more impurity or add more impurity to water, molality will rise and since it's directly proportional to the elevation of boiling point, there will be more rise in boiling point with addition of more impurities. So boiling point may rise to 105, something like that. And so when you change this proportionality to equality, then you know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put a constant. The constant is called ebuloscopic constant. This constant Kb is known as ebuloscopic constant. Uh, I think there's only one B there. To know what Kb is, I'll assume that the molality of the solution is 1. So you've added impurity in such a manner to a certain amount of solvent that the concentration of the solution in terms of molality, it's not molality, remember, it's molality, is 1. How is it possible to prepare a solution of molality 1? The simplest way is to take uh, 1 kg of any solvent, let's take 1 kg of water. So there's 1 kg water. And to this 1 kg water, if you add 1 mole of any solute, remember uh, in all these um, colligative properties that we are studying about the solution, the sol solute we add is always non-electrolyte and non-volatile solute. That means solute itself will not split to form ions and it does not even evaporate and forms its own vapor. So there's one mole of solute added to one kg of solvent and that's how the molality becomes one because molality is the number of moles of solute present in uh, or mixed with one kg of solvent, one kg which is thousand grams of solvent. So we've got one kg of water where we add one mole of solute and now the molality of the solution is 1. The moment this m becomes 1, you know what happens, then it becomes clear that Kb is now delta Tb. That means ebuloscopic constant is nothing but the increase in boiling point of any liquid in the solution. When you prepare a solution of molality 1, that means now you want to know what is ebuloscopic constant of water. First of all, remember this ebuloscopic constant is a constant of that liquid whose boiling point is rising because of add addition of impurity. So let's let's have a liquid water, pure water. I want to know what is ebuloscopic constant of water. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to prepare a solution of molality 1. Because when molality is 1, Kb is equal to delta Tb. That means ebuloscopic constant is increasing boiling point of water because of you have, because you've added some amount of impurity to water. So the boiling point of water will rise above 100. Let's say the boiling point rises by Mm, 2 degrees. So now the new boiling point of the solution of water is 102. Pure water boils at 100. So the rise in boiling point that is delta Tb is nothing but 2 degree Celsius. This delta Tb is not the boiling point of the solution or neither its boiling point of the pure liquid but it is the boiling increase in boiling point. That means the amount by which the boiling point rises. So from 100 to 102 it's 2 degree that is delta Tb. So we took water in such a way that uh, when we added impurity to this water, impurity was non-electrolyte, non-volatile solute and prepared a solution. We did it in such a way that the molality remained 1 and because of addition of impurity, boiling point of water has now risen and it has risen by 2 degree and that delta Tb, that 2 degree by which the boiling point of water rises is known as ebuloscopic constant of water. So we know what is ebuloscopic constant of any liquid. For example, let's talk about uh, benzene. I want to know what is ebuloscopic constant of benzene. So I'll take benzene and mix with such an impurity uh, like uh, a non-volatile, non-electrolyte impurity in such a manner that the molality of the solution of benzene becomes 1 and, in, and because you've added impurity, so the boiling point of benzene will rise. Let's say it rises by 2 degree or 3 degree and that rise in boiling point of benzene because of addition of impurity and because you have prepared a solution of molality 1 is known as ebuloscopic constant of benzene. So this rise in boiling point of any liquid is a constant, remember, because this Kb is a constant of this proportionality. That means when you take water and add some non-volatile, non-electrolyte impurity, 
so that uh, you prepare a solution of molality one its boiling point will rise but that rise is a constant now we have assumed that it rises by two degrees celsius in case of water when you prepare a solution of molality one that means that two degree is a constant which means if you take water again if you take water again and again take let's say one kg of water it's so simple to calculate molality that way and add uh, one mole of another solute let's say earlier we had added urea because urea is non-electrolyte non-volatile so next time we are adding to the same one kg of water we are adding one mole of let's say sucrose which is a non-volatile non-electrolyte solute now what is the molality of the solution it is one and because you have added sucrose the boiling point of water will rise again but that rise will remain same because that rise is a constant for water it will, it will rise from 100 to 100 and Two again, even though the solute added was different, earlier it was urea, now it's sucrose, so it, it will rise by the same amount, how much? Two degree, and that rise in boiling point, which is also a constant, as long as the molality of the solution remains one in water, that constant, that fixed value by which the boiling point of water rises is known as eviloscopic constant of water. That's the eviloscopic constant of water. That means now, to k one kg of water, Whatever you add, whatever kind of non-volatile, non-electrolyte solute you add, whether you add urea, sucrose, or maybe mm, you add, let's say, uh, glucose, you add, add galactose, and there are so many other such solutes. If you add and prepare a solution of molality 1, every time the boiling point of water will rise, and the rise will be a f by a fixed value, it will always rise by 2 degree, if, if it is 2 degree, it's just an assumed value. So if it's rising by 2 degree, that 2 degree always remains same. The rising boiling point of water when you prepare a solution of molality 1 is a constant and that constant is known as ebuloscopic constant of water. So ebuloscopic constants are constants of liquids. Okay, so that way we can write a definition of ebuloscopic constant. So what is ebuloscopic constant of a liquid? what is eviloscopic constant of a liquid so it is the rise in it is the rise in boiling point of a liquid yeah there is a rise in boiling point of water for example here liquid in a, in its in its solution yeah you have to have a solution otherwise the boiling point won't rise in a solution of molality molality how much one by adding what kind of solute you're supposed to add by adding by adding non volatile and non electrolyte solute Okay, so that's the meaning of ebuloscopic constant.